29 April 2014, Tuesday afternoon. This is the industrial park dog, it's very clever. When the dog catcher comes, he knows where to hide under the, somewhere away from the red cat, uh, pound, the dog catcher. Now, he came yesterday because he was lethargic and, uh, and had lots of ticks actually. We did take him already and uh, now we do a blood test and notice that notice that he had loss of red blood cells. He has lower red blood cells and lower hemoglobin. And also his total white cell count was high. As you can see from here, this was yesterday. Uh, hemoglobin was below normal, red blood cells below normal, total white cell count high, above normal with neutrophils and absolute numbers much higher. Now, this dog is very much loved by the owner. He's called Black Mouth and he's the only rat catching dog in, in Top Bayer Lorong 8 because most dogs don't catch rats. And so I suspect he might have rat bait poisoning because he, he catches the rat and brings back to the to the owner. So so the first diagnosis is uh, rat bait poisoning and I've given him IV drip and uh, vitamin K1. Today it looks like his colour is quite good. And, uh, but because he has a lot of ticks, so there's a possibility he might have got, uh, got uh, tick fever, although there's no fever. So I'm going to give him an Imidox injection. This Imidox injection is for babesiosis and uh, so it's given twice a day, at two, at once in once per day for two days under the skin. And if there's any babesiosis, normally it'll be killed. And then he'll be back to normal. Now you can see that he has eaten, he definitely had eaten uh, quite a lot after the treatment and the ticking. And uh, and more active. Uh, and uh, so this injection will be used to to uh, kill the babesiosis. Although the blood test has not uh, been done to to show babesiosis, uh, this this uh, has not been done yet. But most likely it's a red bit poisoning. Okay, send me up.